Hello again, it's Jess or Jashi Curran, and today we're going to be setting up for week six in my bullet journal. That's the 5th through to the 11th of February. But before we jump into that, I just wanted to give you guys another look at how my weekly spread for this week was going. So as I talked about in my last weekly plan with me, I went for this layout which I formed at the end of last year to kind of hold myself a little bit more accountable for using my time during my non-contact periods at school. So we have the periods one through six on the side here and they run through from Monday to Friday. We have Saturday and Sunday on this side along with a small calendar and some space to record any tasks or events that I was gonna be doing next week. This one has been working out quite well. I do really like this spread, but I think I'm gonna change it up for next week. Not too sure what I'm gonna do yet, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But let's jump in. So that's what we're going to have for next week, it seems. Pretty simple compared to last week's spread, but I do like these little details on each of the headings. I think they're kind of cute and they just add a little bit more visual interest to the page. So as you can probably see, we have a box for each day of the week and then Saturday and Sunday in one box combined and a large to-do list down the side here. I was finding that there were a lot of things this week that I really needed to write down but didn't really have the space for them in my weekly so I wanted to make sure that there was a really good chunk of space just dedicated to being able to jot down notes. As per usual any of the tools that I used in today's setup will be linked in the description box below. If you have any thoughts, feels or comments please do share them in the comment section and I'll be back on the weekend with another video. Okay, bye!